Hello and welcome back to another cast of game on the Age of Bison YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sir Shark Dad, and we got another one for you. Not on the 1v1 rank ladder. This is an in-house Age of Sunbros Discord match as a battle of the casters. Ooh. Madonna here on the left-hand side of the map playing Malta in the red. And then Platypus Slayer playing Japan, sporting the blue here on the right-hand side of the map. And we are in the beautiful Corellian Lakes. This is a fantastic map. Lots of angles of attack, plenty of resources, lots of fighting in the middle. So, we'll see how this one goes. I am joined here by my co-caster, McCleaves. What are you thinking about this matchup? It uh, feels I'm like... it's a very... Oh, sorry. I was I was going to point out that it was very weird that these cherries just grow into the snow. But... Oh, where? On the... I don't know oh, how for... that happens, yeah. but... Uh, weird. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I These are my two favorite sips, I guess. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, like, totally. I'm surprised to hear that. I thought Hausa was your favorite. No, no, I, I hate both of them. That's, that's oh, you're joking. Good. Oh, you but, hate both uh, of these. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. well. We'll try to keep it objective, though. Oh, 300 food for uh, Japan. I, I've seen that a lot uh, lately, I think, uh, or, or heard about it, at least, because I, I don't play as much at the moment, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be quite standard nowadays. Other than that, kind of standard, sort of, kind of. I think yeah, for the most part. Yeah, Shonindo is or Shonindo is gone, right? Yeah, that's a bit interesting. But I mean, it it, it it's, um, Shogun, Aaron Daimios are here. Yeah, can't see any guard that's really missing there. So. Maybe the three flaming out. No, they're there. The two actually. Okay, yeah. Seems, two for two. Seems like a very really standard deck. Yeah, just, just violence. Going for three hundred food to start. Shrines on food. We saw three vills. Not okay, going. This a, is the same deck as last time. Yeah. It's, um. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Spice trade. Yeah. It's about the same. He's got some. Got plenty of options all yeah, throughout. Yeah. Tower too. Yeah, the red and towers. That's gonna be again. We we casted a game recently, twelve ten, Malta, and um, it, the the red and towers was a huge feature of that. So we'll see if he's gonna go for that sentinel play again. But in that one, he did a twelve ten, so twelve over ten. This time we have a thirteen twenty. So that's kind of a weird age up. That's right. Governor, or sorry, quartermaster, four hundred wood to start. Of course, Malta's thirsty for wood. Thirteen twenty again. <laughs> On Japan's yeah, side. Oh, no, 1420. Yeah, my apologies. Um, no, no, but that's because he's... Uh, made right, village. right, he can still... Yeah. Tory Gates. Coming in. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. He's got a lot of... He's sporting a lot of wood. So I'm wondering if he's going to go for a forward base, or maybe he... will aim for the... Well, no, no he's not. going for the trade routes. Oh, that's right. Yes, He's already got I two, see it. And, uh, actually, Japan got one too. So if he if he upgrades it, that will be interesting for uh, Japan. Yes, he's got um, one here. Also, I don't think it's quite this. I don't think it's quite the same deck because no, it's not. He's missing three, Merchant Republics. Oh, it's an yeah, this, exactly. There's something else came in, came in. I think it was the three gold rings, but I might be wrong. Yeah. Okay, it's not exactly the same. So Madonna now going up to commerce. Plat is now in commerce. He's gonna go shrine wagons. Yeah, it's five hundred wood. They build fast. I suppose. It, I mean, and it, it does give I think extra hit points on them, something like that. So, radiant towers come coming from Malta. It's probably going to put this right in the center. You know, this these trade posts like. Oh, actually, it's two different lines. So if he does. Upgraded. It's not upgraded. Yeah, that's what makes Corellian Lake so good. Mistaken. It's two separate trade lines, so it's it's kind of you have your own side of the map, but it's also hotly contested because if you can control the center, like the center of the map here, you can definitely control these two sides, right? And then, but you have other angles of attack. It's a great. It really is a great map, in my opinion. Um, let's see what. Plant yeah, but does. then it's interesting that he actually didn't uh, choose to go for the Republic stack. Nanda, so, Nanda, what's going on? Interesting. I hope this one isn't stuck. Okay, he's gonna go. He's he's doubling down into the ego here, but gonna get making Ashigaru into 
Malta, who is known mostly for their for their crossbowmen, so I'm, it's interesting. He's already sieging this tower with the samurai, the age of samurai. Oh man, he might get it. And he, oh, well, it's close enough. I mean, he the red in towers. He's, he's oh, that's, to... that's going to be big, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. So, minus one barracks, basically. So for those who don't know, the Redden Towers makes it so that these basically become barracks. So you get two outposts that basically become barracks, so you get Blockhouse. And this is huge because he basically just lost a barracks. Now he's trading five Sentinels out of this one, but that's a that's a lot of map control I, that he I lose. Think I think it's kind of funny that this became a build with Malta, even though their, their barracks are actually 100. They aren't that expensive. Also, this, this Shrine Wagon... And send 600 wood too. Or maybe, yeah. Well, let's see if we oh, can pick no. up a bill. Again. Madonna, pay attention. Oh. Right. One bill going down. Let's see if we can pick up these two. Let's see what he sees. It's a good pickup from Japan. Huge. Let's see. Okay, losing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, and more. Yeah, that's, that's going to be minus one. And that's three veil pickup. Anyway, so there we go. Three veils. That's that's good. Huge difference. Twenty veils for Platt. Sixteen for Madonna. Sentinels now trying to work their way back, and then for Madonna's part, I guess maybe going treasure hunting or I don't know what he's doing up there. I never known Platt to be a Japan. How many shrines does Japan have? Yeah, that's true. Actually, I think that's something new. Twelve right now. Uh, one hundred thirty. One hundred thirty. So that's twelve. Twelve shrines, kid. Twelve shrines, pretty nice. Yeah, Even seven more. Seven minutes. Twelve shrines and uh, a big mass of ashi. It's uh, pretty good. I think this is a. Uh, is that respectable? You want you want no. We understand that he sent two. He sent two of the same card, right? But I guess that's a pretty good amount yeah. of shrines, right? Yeah. It's 10. Right? So, and it also, I think it also in buffs there. Like uh, let's check what the card says. I uh, know, my bad. Yeah, it's just a regular shrine. But it looks like he's going to try to take out that tower, but he was not able to. It seems like the Sentinels are just going to go ahead and hold on. They, they Once again, they get that buff. 192 health versus the 170 makes a difference. 26 range hey, attack versus 24 range, range attack. attack Speed is the same, I think. I think Ashi are faster. Or Sentinels actually for oh yeah yeah. Four two five to four five. Okay. So slight difference there. Another oh, shrine it's... maybe going down with the Explorer, but I don't know who's gonna oh, build it. Oh, and Madonna's mixing and crossbows. That's definitely not what you want to see. Now it looks like he's gonna go German tongue, gonna give him a huge eco boost and. Gonna give him a little bit yeah. more map control depending on where he decides to place it. Gonna go ahead and go after these shrines. You're on a timer. A lot of Malta gets a good eco in the mid game, early the mid game, if once they get Wignacorn and all that stuff in, but Japan. But Japan also can get a very good mid game. So it's just. I think there's a. Oh, this is. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Violence, violence, Ooh. violence. Can he get this, this commander? Be bad, though. Ooh. Does he just does he just take it? Does he just take it? No. Oh way. no 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 don't. No. Oh, you should have just done it. Oh come on. Uh, yeah. I think he just okay. He has to back out now for sure. He's gonna lose. Maybe too much. maybe he thought he wouldn't. He wouldn't manage to get it. Shipping the daimyo. I suppose that makes sense. Get a shot. Right. It's tough, yeah, because he's he's definitely on a timer. You know, Japan will will definitely outscale pretty much any sieve if you give them enough time. He still has twelve shrines, even though he took down that one. So still looking pretty solid, and he looks like he's just gonna stage two. Even more Ashy coming in. Now he's got the mobile barracks. I know you love this unit. Oh man, this is the the most crappy design of the. <laughs> oh well, let's, let's let's not go into that, right? Is he gonna stay I should, I should probably just have skipped that. <laughs> on Ashigaru? Is he gonna stay on Ashigaru when we got more crossbowmen coming in? I feel like this needs to be a musket on musket fight. This is not it's not fair for him to train in crossbow. In the well, midst could, of this. Japan could just train near me, right? So it's, it's not that it's not that bad, although and both have the same problem where like one of them across the wood, so it's it's kinda of fair, I think. So the Yumi are better 
at first, I think. Although the crossbow do skill quite well. Let's see how this goes. They do have a slight buff as a result of the daimyo as well, I believe. Quite a few units down there. Oh, samurai? Interesting. Okay, so we have... He sent in Spice Trade as well, so I think he also sent in Wignacourt. So he have Wignacourt and Spice Trade. He's going in, he's going in, and... Oh, oh, get in there. Completely missed it. Oh, no, he's got no, he's getting right on top of the crossbowman. Oh my gosh, and then look, the dino now That's also getting into the action. Huge wipe. Oh my goodness. And then because of the speed of the Ashi, he's going to absolutely be able to hunt this down. Go ahead and get it right into the mix. Barrel to barrel, like I like to speak. Just, just absolutely just going to town on each other, but they still have the buff as a result of the commandery, so he needs to be careful. Look at Madonna just going ahead and yeah, mixing in the melee alongside the such a smart micro move. I think this is the point where you kind of run back. I think he's training some more. He's training Nagi. Oh, Nagi? Yeah, why not? Probably expecting some crossbows again. Sending Ashi. Ah. Just a damage. Small again. Madonna completely on the back foot here. Completely on the back foot. He, I mean, he. Black can't really push into this necessarily. Commander here is too strong. Yeah. But he definitely has an and advantage. It's settler wagons too, too. But he does have the spice trade. Twenty nine vills, settler wagons. Platt is working with thirty three, and he still has a number of shrines. Still just twelve actually. So the Nagi are gonna go ahead and get on top. They are not. They're going to go ahead and back out. <laughs> go ahead and take out that Explorer for like the third or fourth time now. Yeah, poor G. Both are just going to go ahead and stay H2. See what happens. He's going to lose these Nagis if he stays, but he needs to take out this trade post. He's already dedicated so much to it. Can he get it? I don't know. <laughs> Is he going to get you the trade post? got to finish that. Come on. Gonna go ahead and stand and fight again. Here he goes going down to the Daimyo. The Daimyo needs to be kept Man, the safe. The Daimyo doesn't have a lot of... Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of H HP left. He can heal it, right? I think I think it's a healable unit. I don't think he's got any healing units right now. I think she is um, X far as my pets too. All right, Madonna now having another sizable mass of crossbowmen. It looks like... Well, that's gonna have to figure out what he wants to, wants to do here if he's yeah, gonna. He's getting some on. <laughs> Explore down again. Amazing. Platt gonna go ahead and send in even more wood. I think he can decide to age up if he wants. I think his explorers can go ahead and build more shrines. I think they have. Let me check. Still twelve. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> We're gonna stick with twelve. It's the lucky number here. And order Hassar for Madonna. Looks like, I, if anything, he can get a good raid going. His economy is on fire here. Look at these gather rates. 32, 33 vills now. Settler wagons, yes. Wignacourt, Spice Trade, lots of upgrades. Plat on 37. The 12 shrines. And then let's see if we can get another samurai for him. Because that was very nice. Yeah. It right, looks like Madonna's going hunting here. Five Order Hussar looking for a good raid. He's gonna go ahead and take down some of these shrines. He's gonna get he's gonna get caught yeah, by a bunch of bayonets here. Oof, one going down, a few more getting wounded. Clearing a few shrines over here. Oh, there's some a few samurai coming. I like the mix the kind of snare. Yeah, I like the samurai. I think it's smart. I think it's different. Although, yeah, and the samurai don't get counted. Kind of makes sense in, in some way, but they, of course the Nagi are. They do. If they do connect to the... She do big damage. I would like to see some Yumi there. there. Two armies just kind of dancing around each other. It looks like Plaid is going to be having a little bit of a hard time. Order Hussar is going to get right into it. Oh, they're going to get absolutely wiped. Oops. Yeah. Oh, but it looks like he needs to back out of this fight for right now. He's, he's absolutely outnumbered and outgunned. Those crossbowmen are going to catch. And Madonna, very smart. And once again, just getting those, getting those sentinels back into melee. Seeing he can snare that. Take away the speed advantage. Good kite on the part of Plaid. 
Yeah. Now what's Platt gonna do? Kind of Platt is losing. Platt's that. losing shrines. He's and oh, now still 13. <laughs> Looks like he's still got the eco going. And oh, the samurai were getting on top and got caught out. Uh, looks like they're not gonna be very effective. Yeah, no, I mean, same thing for the Sars, I suppose. That. Madonna has a huge eco, huge eco in the cleaves, and he is now going to be reaching critical mass in a bit, and and Puck is just, he's making more. Yeah, but that was also a big eco, which the score is actually in favor of him. They're getting torn up by these crossbow men. I don't know if they can stand and fight here, but he does have some five Nagi coming in. If he stands and fights, and then he gets the Nagi on top. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, just the done. one, even He's one. Switching up the too. Oh, switching mm -hmm. consulate here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ooh, the Nagi going down. If he can get more Nagi into the mix here. Oh, here yeah, they come. See if they catch up. Now he can just teach his parents. Yeah, he can just see, he can choose to siege that down. That one daimyo. Oh, it self heals. Hey, look, McLeaves, it look, it self heals. <laughs> Don't you love it? Well, but it shouldn't normally, you know, that, that do this with like this little. Maybe it's because it's a real. Yeah, of course. Like. Trainable barracks, of course they heal like it, right? <laughs> yeah, just like your barracks buildings. When you put a barracks building down, right, doesn't it just heal on its own, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Ooh, it seems like Madonna shipped some coins to his tower and so... Well, he is now going to go H3. He is looking for the adventurer that's going to give him some crossbow. But I don't know. Platt's got another thing on his mind. He's got a huge eco, almost 50 bills. Plenty of shrines. Actually... He's got to mix up lancers and muskets. These are hard to actually go in musketeer attack. He has not sent in Yumi because he hasn't made a single Yumi all game. 32 range yeah. attack. <laughs> Tottenkopf coming in. What are these Tottenkopf going to do? I don't know. He likes his Tottenkopf, but I'm, I'm not a fan of losing those against like musketeer and devil. This archers. Oh, he got this. These archers from the, the age from the up. Age up and this down. Yes, that was horrible. Daimyo now put it in the work, getting some more kills to his name. Yeah. He's right. Good. That's and two Dorenin uh, towers down. That's the forward base. Yep. Huge. Okay, so now we got a mix of lancers. We Petron have an H3. Upgrades coming in there. Upgrades coming in. He needs to get like a. Does he have the fixed gun? He does. He probably needs a fixed gun at this point or a fort. Really slow him down. Looking in, getting into the action. If he can get the Nagi past these Tuttenkopf. Oh, Tuttenkopf just melted away. But the, the Sentinels also melted away. Sentinels just absolutely ripping through these Nagi Nada Riders. And it looks like we're just going to go back to. Infantry on infantry combat here. It looks like, and once again, Madonna just doing this, this. <laughs> that stupid yeah, melee. Great mic, bro. And, and training from four different barracks. He, yeah, although he doesn't really. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna have to back out of that one. It looks like Madonna's gone. This is gonna be a big pop there, yeah. Yep. 14 crossbows and some more sentinels coming in. These sentinels are huge. These are big boys. 250 health. 250 health. Now they're in, yeah, in the range of the buildings. Yeah, they're H3, right? Yeah, they are H3. They're Venom. So they're Venom. Attack on the... Actually, they actually have more attack. Yeah, they're carded. They're carded, though. But that's huge. I mean, that's kind of crazy, actually, when you think yeah, about it. H2 carded, ashy. Yeah, it is. They don't have as much health, though. No, of oh, sorry, what did he age up with? He went Golden Pavilion. Also, the Sentinels have extra. Um, yeah, what's it called? Extra range? Oh, oh, oh Daimyo going down. That's not. What are you doing, Platt? What are you doing? Watch your Daimyo. I'm gonna go ahead and try Siege of these Shrines down again. Still oh, and he's H3. Yes, he just hit H3. 
He's got Golden Pavilion increasing the attack of his ranged units. Let's see what attack he has now. 37 ranged attack. 37! Yeah, he's got the Golden Pavilion and they are... Uh, what about the HP comparison? Yeah, so Sentinel to Sentinel. Uh, let me see if I can find any. 221, not in the range of a building. Versus 205. Yeah, it's a bit more. And of course, with the, with the building, it will get better. There are some flaming arrows in the mix for um, Japan that is going to help against these, uh, uh, what do you call the, the, the arches. Not flaming sure arrows where, coming in. Why he mixed in um, Yabusa, Yabusama, or, or... No, Yumi. Or you, or you mean Yabusami? No, no, the Yabusami. Like, Yumi, I understand. But oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. He, well, he did. He I was suppose. making he was making Order Hussar, so. That's true. But Ashi just countered those, right? Yeah, it's fair. But now, Discipline Ashi got he's expecting some cannons. Uh, Explorer taking some, some cannon hits. I don't care. See now at this point it's starting to get kind of tense. So so Madonna's sprawled all on this side. He's sprawled on all this side. He needs to start trying to take even more map control. He's going to be running out of hunts very soon if he hasn't already. Um, Plat controls. Pretty much these all these hunts, these shrines are. are... How many shrines? Let's take Let's a see. look. Yeah, I'm still twelve. Weird. Thirteen shrines. Thirteen. Okay, my bad. Fourteen. Ooh, H4. Oh, dude, no okay. way. What a, what a chat. He's going with the Shogun, so he's going to... He's going to oh, what right a chat. 55, 55 bills to 45. Now, I think the Ecos are about the same, though, um, considering that these are settled yeah, wagons. But, yeah, but I don't think Madonna is expecting this. No. And actually, there's a huge score lead for Japan, so you might have a bit I think Japan more. overscores, though, but I do think... I do think that, um... Yeah, that's true. I do think that Malta is definitely behind. Um, we're gonna see steel bolts. Know. It's gonna like, be huge. It doesn't feel like it, but it feels like they're kind of on bar. This is so funny H4, to me. Though. That's crazy. I didn't realize he's, like, catapulted himself into H4. Now we have, ooh, Flintlock yeah. coming in. Flintlock coming in. Okay, yeah. These Ashes are going to be so strong. Is that coming from the consulate? Yeah, he's got... Yeah, the Dutch consulate gives um the arsenals. Let's see that flintlock come in. There's the H. Two twenty two. Instantly shipping um really cool flaming arrows again. Four flaming arrows coming yes. in, H four. I wanna see if he gets the H four upgrade for his actually. Oh and Madonna pushes. He's gonna hear yeah, he's gonna see the push. The These dragoons are gonna get absolutely mounted. Flaming arrows here on the side doing their work. Uh, Shogun in the front, though. That's... It doesn't matter. Nagi coming in now to see if they get a catch. Yabusami. Yeah, I, I don't think Ooh, Madonna pull tricking his heart out over here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Deciding to wait for the flaming arrows. You gotta, I mean, you gotta be thinking to yourself, it's kind of game. I mean, you, you let Japan get to age four. I mean, it's it, it's 20 minutes past. I mean, like, Japan hits their full stride, what I would imagine, 12 to 15 minutes in. or They're just massive at this point. And then now we're gonna see Honored Ashigaru. And what does it matter how many crossbowmen you make into Honored Ashigaru? Madonna struggling to take out these flaming arrows, see if he can focus them down. They finally do go down, but he's taking some heavy casualties doing so. Training even more yeah, units. More I mean, why Dragoon with Sentinel? Probably needs Culverin. has been making quite some Maggie, so I, I see why, but... I think Madonna is completely out of hunts. He needs to transition to mills. He yeah. has 10 on wood to do or just that. Or transition to fire throw. Oh, yeah, he could. Yeah, fire throw would be interesting here, I think. I think that would be a good switch. And now look, Honored Ashigara, 272 with 45 range attack. Oh, These things are so Cheeky up there, That's getting awesome. taken out. Imagine 
Knights of Rhodes coming in to see if he gets Hospitallers. That may help a little bit. He doesn't really have too many commanders, and one of them is going to go down. You can see them on the on the mini map. With, uh, with yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like ten. I think that was ten nights. I think the first. Oh, He's got a lot of idle settlers uh, up yeah, here. Yeah, they can. Shrine. Oh man, he. <laughs> he needs to get the hunt. <laughs> All the villagers do. The shrines have a debuff against the. So they they will actually see. Oh, look at these hospitalers going to work. Oh my God, big boys with swords. Oh boy. Oh, look at that drag box. Not yeah, good. Yeah, then you love it. No, you them in the top of the Oh, he's running for He's going to hit her. Oh, it's the suicide of the hospitalers, man. Oh, oh, their he, courage. You guys will be missed. But they did thin out the herd quite a bit. It did. That took out a lot. If, they can, if these guys can... Oh, commit, commit, commit. Oh. That's a lot. Okay, now yeah. going Vittoriosa. Vittoriosa. But he wants to. Yeah, he realizes he's back behind on Eco and tries to kind of catch on. He did take out that shot. Yeah, villagers have a. a like, yeah, villagers have a, a bonus a C, on their siege attack against shrines. Oh, I didn't know which that. Which is very interesting. But that's like specifically designed to counter the, the idea of like shrining the opponent's runs. I see. I get it. But even Which more hospitalers now coming in. These are these are these are a great unit. Oh, if you're fuck. playing Malta, do not sleep on these guys. These guys are great. Um, yeah, with the deflection too. Yeah, just a, they're just a better Rodellero, honestly. Like a hot, like a Rodellero plus. HP is no no joke. Yeah. But at this point, Plat is able to easily mass up. He is critical mass at this point. Honored Ashigaru with nearly 300 health and almost 50 range of attack. I mean... And they're still discarding. He's just gonna go ahead and just press into it. It is, it is, he's just gonna go ahead and run them down. I'm gonna go ahead and take these, rip these fortifications down. He does have another town center going up up here, but I don't know, once this, once this base goes, I mean, I don't really foresee him continuing the fight. He's trying to kite this as best he can, but these guys are just chasing him down. Yeah. Yeah, they're so fast too. Just... Yeah, absolutely, four to 4.5, yeah. It's hard to kite them. They're trading evenly. I hate to, I hate to fight, uh, face these boys, but they, they do, they do. And, they... Oof. and then what? More flaming arrows coming in. You can send in a, you can send in the Tokugawa. Even more daimyo. Why not? Sixty-seven bills to bills. Madonna's fifty. Oh, he's, he's on the rise, patties. Oh, H4 coming in. Okay, okay. People guard. People guard. What's that, what does that give you? Would it get... eight, eight or so. I think eight or nine people guards. Oh, okay. Interesting. Does that have an arsenal in there? He does not see... Does he see this town center up here? No clue. But he's got a commanding lead. Look at that. That's over a 10k score lead. I mean, 17k score difference. I mean, this is top. Uh, and his H4 is coming into the main TC, not the secondary TC. Not the best move. Yeah, I think he's going to get I think this is it. I think that he does not have the mass to hold this back. And I think even with the H4, even if he does get the H4 in, that's probably going to be about it. I would imagine. He does. He gets a unit. He's It's a big issue. He does have a card for me. Yeah, but what do you. He's not going to get it. I mean, what do you. He's going to look up to some things up there. 
Well, he never sent. He also never sent in this one, which is. He needed this. Does he actually have the arcade on that page? Yeah, he sent this, but not Southern Order. Okay. He's gonna get our blast. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's my bound. The people are slow. It allows you to. Oh, yeah, the upgrades. Yeah. You can get the Colves, maybe. I don't know. He's he's trying his best to hold this out. He, he does have Arbalester now, which is going to do really well for this, but... I like the... Ugh. I like the uniforms on the Arbalester. They look to me. Oh, yeah, the Flaming Arrow is just, like, ravaging the base here. Yeah, but he's, he yeah, went ahead and called the GG there instead of trying to fight it out against a late-age, late-game Japan. Uh, wow. <laughs> Non-stop violence throughout. Um, yeah. Great game, great game. I mean, Madonna and Platt played that extremely well. But um, it just shows you. I mean, he, he, him being Platt had the tempo. You know, just had the tempo. Uh, Madonna was not able to really capitalize on having the mass and trying to roll over Japan, and just gave him too much time. And then he just doubled down on all these upgrades and ended up with a. 300 health, 50 range attack. <laughs> Ashigaru. I think Yumi, which is even more insane when you think about it, but okay. Because they actually have modifiers, right? That's true. Oh, well. But I guess, uh, I mean, he yeah, was trying very, to out to prove good. that his muskets were better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's Wow, wow, wow. Great game, great game played by both. Uh, really fun, just the two casters battling it out, um, and uh, just showing Japan in that late game just having so much strength. Really cool build, honestly, on both parts. I think Malta was showcasing a really interesting build. I think that forward base, really aggressive kind of play, is super interesting. And 300 food start for Japan, early H2 age up into double shrines. It's kind of a greedy economic play, but it still allows you, you know, to get your units out, get the economy going. So. The big thing with Japan, I think, is just the tempo, right? Is is that they're they're kind of slow to start, but it, you can see here that they've they've been able to kind of cut down on the uh, startup time, and he's able to get units out onto the field and then keep going, you know. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Um, the build looked uh, pretty solid, to be honest. I liked it. And the eco is just massive after a, after a while. Um, yeah, look how many ashes he made. 255 into 152. Look at that. Look at the amount of kills, too. Like, he just smashed. The villager count also, like, getting those few villagers early, but the few is kind of quite, quite, made, made quite a difference. Look at that, yeah. That's there. Um, let me look at the military unit count. Yeah, pretty neck and neck, you know, following even trades. Really good. Um, but then that H4, just suddenly H4, like unexpected yeah. massing units and then getting that H4, I, I didn't, I almost didn't even see it coming and then that just totally. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe you could check a uh, military score because sometimes it kind of gives a better picture because, you know, some units are too pop and it's just kind of, right. There, there is a bit of a, a lead for Japan the whole, whole time here. Yeah really really good stuff really interesting just i mean great matchup truly but really fun builds on each yeah, side and, sure. and you know we really appreciate uh plat sending us this game and that was a lot of fun so um hope you guys enjoyed this one this this uh <laughs> this game of just nothing but pure violence just going back and forth the barrel to barrel as it were or barrel to bow um, really hope you enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like on this video if you liked it uh give us a comment let us know what you thought and once again, thank you guys so much for tuning into our Cast of Games channel continues to grow. Really appreciate all the support. Thank you so much, everyone, and we will see you in the next one.